Hello ladies and gentlemen, Security Before here bringing you another Minecraft modern tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Chevy Suburban known as the codename Watchtower. This vehicle here is a large vertical aerials and domes on spine and actively jams communications and remote detonating devices. In some configurations it may also work as detecting incoming projectiles and small unmanned aircraft via shortwave radar. This vehicle, along with others in the motorcade, may also provide laser warning used by some anti-tank guided missiles and radar warning for con the convoy. If a threat is detected, such as one using a laser for destination and ranging, or if a th threat radar was detected, IRR smoke, chaff, and targeting jamming could be deployed, disrupting such an attack. So basically what this vehicle here is designed to do, it's part of the uh, presidential motorcade that we have been working on for the past few videos, and uh, this here vehicle was designed to basically counter um, any kind of electronic uh, warfare type of, uh, you know, weaponry. So this can include IEDs, as I mentioned, uh, laser-guided uh, anti-tank missiles or uh, just anti-everything missiles. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just used to kind of provide a um, counter-defense system to some, you know, more advanced type technologies that could be a threat to the uh, president and the motorcade so overall a really cool vehicle and if you think about it a super important one as basically this year is one of the most important vehicles i guess in a modern scenario with the new modern weaponry and stuff like that and the ability of this vehicle to really protect the convoy is super essential and uh basically a super important role so this is again the uh Chevy suburban nicknamed watchtower and it's basically designed to be an electronic countermeasures vehicle. So overall, really cool vehicle and a basically a Chevy Suburban, so like the one we just did a tutorial on, and slightly modified. So the main differences you're gonna see here is the addition of two domes on the top of the roof, and also uh, some other uh, basically antenna type um, objects fixated to the roof. Um, but overall, pretty cool design and a uh, really cool vehicle to kind of add to your convoys and a very important one nonetheless. Um, so go ahead and kind of take a look at it here. If you did build a Chevy Suburban, you're pretty familiar with the design already. Um, it's pretty straightforward, the same design here for the vehicle. Uh, we have the basically the addition of antennas here on the back and some antennas here on the right uh, passenger side. And we also do have um, the do two domes up here, which basically house the radar uh, to detect incoming um, drones or anything of that kind of sort that may be, you know, already coming through the air. So cool stuff, um, pretty cool little vehicle, and let's go and jump into the tutorial. All right guys, go ahead and move into our first layer. We're going ahead and start off with layer one here. For layer one, to go ahead and get started for the build, we're going to go and place down a block of coal, like so. And we want to go and then place down two end rods over from the block of coal, and another block of coal over here to this side, and that's going to make our two front wheels. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go toward the direction we want the front of the vehicle facing, so that direction there. And we're going to place down a row of three of black stone top slabs, that go, or sorry, a row of four that goes across the front here. Coming off these uh, slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four dark liquid signs. Coming off the sides of the slabs, and we want to go ahead and then go to the slabs to both sides, place down an item frame and then a white stained glass pane, or sorry, a white stained glass full block in those item frames like so. Once uh, that's done, we're going to take our black, sand, or black stone again and place down another row of four across, followed by a second row of four, a third row, a fourth and a fifth row across like so. We're going to go ahead and go to the middle three rows and place down dark liquid signs here on the sides of those blocks and the same thing over here as well. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down a black uh, block of coal to both sides and rods in between those blocks and then we're going to place down a row of four of black stone across the back here. We then want to place down a row of four dark liquid trap doors and once we have that all done, that's going to basically complete our base here for layer number one. With that, we're going to now move into our banners here, which will be used to make the wheels. For this, we're going to need a light gray banner. Uh, we can also go ahead and grab ourselves a loom as well. And we're going to go ahead and need to grab two pieces of black dye. Now to make these banners, super simple, we're going to go into our loom, place our light gray banner in the loom and our black dye. We're going to go ahead and first select the border of black that goes all the way around the, board, the uh, border of the banner like so. So that's going to be our first uh, die piece there. And then we're going to go ahead and use our second piece to do a line that goes directly through the center here like that horizontally. And with that we have our wheel banner design done. And we're just going to go ahead and place it down on each one of these blocks of coal on the side. 
and you have a nice little design here for the wheels themselves. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap it up for layer one. Let's move on to layer number two. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to get started with, we need to make two uh, banners here for this layer. We're going to go into our loom here, and we're going to place down both black banners into our loom and both of our great die pieces. We're going to go ahead and basically do the lines here that go through the banner like so, and that's going to be our first banner and also our second banner. We then want to go ahead and put each of these banners back into the loom, and we're going to then take black die, and we're going to go ahead and be displaying the banner in half with our black die, so just like that. And again, that's going to be both of our banners. Once we have that done, we're going to go and place down each one of our banners back into our loom. We're going to start with a blue piece of die, and we're going to go and then place down a uh, little kind of logo that looks like this, or a little design that looks like that. We have like those three little teeth that kind of come down. We're going to do that in blue. We're going to go and do the same thing with this banner, except this time we're going to go and do, use red die. And we get basically our lights here for the front grill. We're going to go ahead and keep these banners um, kind of on standby here, and we're going to come back to those a little bit later uh, once we get this layer built up. But anyways, to begin with, we're going to go to this uh, black stone block here. We're going to place down a black stone wall on both sides there, and then a row to black concrete across. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames and some white stained glass panes. We're going to place down item frames on those uh, narrow brick walls and also white stained glass panes in those item frames just like that. Once we have that done, we want to go and then place down our red banner, which will be on the right uh, side here. And then we're going to place down our blue banner, which will be over here on the left side. We can go and then delete these two banners, and we basically have our lights there in the front grill of the vehicle. Um, after that, uh, you don't need these banners anymore, so you can toss them to the side. Um, but going ahead and continue on, we're going to go and then place down an arrow road to black concrete across here, followed by a black stone upside down stair to both sides, and coming off that black stone stair, we're going to place down a dark liquid sign, like so. Once that's done, we're going to then take our black concrete, we're going to go and place down a row of four that goes all the way across, followed by a second row of four, a third row, fifth, and a sixth row. We're going to go ahead and go to the two rows, so the second from the front and uh, basically four from last, and we're going to go and basically place down uh, stone buns like this. So skip a space here, stone bun, skip a space, stone bun, basically is a narrow way to look at it. We're going to go ahead and place down two black concrete blocks here in the center. A black stone upside down stair on both sides and a dark oak wood sign on the side of it. So the same thing over here to the right side. We're going to go then place down another row of three of black concrete across, followed by a black concrete block in both sides there, and then a row of black stone stairs across the center. After we have that done, coming off these uh, black concrete blocks, we're going to place down a black stone wall on both sides just like that. And once we have that all complete there, that's going to wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, two for the build, and with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into layer three, uh, we do have two banners to make for this layer. They're super simple. All we're going to do is go into our loom. We're going to need two black banners, two black banners, a blue piece of die, and a red piece of die. We're going to place our banners into our loom. Start with our blue die. We're going to do a line across the center of blue, just like that. And then with our red die, we're going to go and do a line right across the center of red. So these two banners, and that's all you need here for that. Um, so we're going to keep those to the side there, and we're going to be coming back and using those there a little bit later. Anyways, once we get to this point, we're going to go and then go up to the top here for the hood of the vehicle. We're going to place down a black carpet on top of these two walls here, and then two dark oak trapdoors across the center. We're going to go and then do a row of three, or sorry, row of four dark oak wood trapdoors across the center here. We then want to place down a row of two of narrow brick stairs like this, and then a narrow brick corner stair to both sides. Coming off that narrow brick corner stair, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides. We then want to take our light gray, or sorry, our black stained glass, and we're going to place down a row of two black stained glass blocks in the center here, followed by a light gray stained glass pane to both sides. We uh, then want to go ahead and take our black stone walls, we're going to place down a black stone wall on both sides, row of two black stained glass across the middle here, two black stained glass blocks in the middle here, followed by a light gray stained glass pane to both sides, another uh, black stone wall to both sides, two black stained glass blocks across the middle here. Again, two black stained glass blocks and an air two like so. And then we're going to take our light gray stained glass, or our black stained glass panes and place down a row of two on both sides like that. Once we have that done, uh, on the back here, we're going to place down a black uh, stone wall on the corners here. And then a row of two of black stained glass panes between the two walls. We then want to go ahead and grab our banners that we made earlier. We're going to go ahead and place down the red banner on this pane here and the blue banner on this one. And then over here on this side, it's gonna be the red banner on the first one and then the blue one on the second one. So just like that, for those lights that would be kind of subdued in the windows. 
Uh, once we have that done, uh, we're going to then take our narrow brick fence post and place it down on top of these two uh, black stone walls there on the very back. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap it up for layer number three. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our final layers here, which will be layers four, five, six, and seven. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. All right, guys, going ahead and move it into our last final layers. We have layers four through seven. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to take our daylight detectors and place down your row two across those two light gray stained glass blocks, or black stained glass box, and we're going to go ahead and turn these to the night mode. So after our daylight detectors right here, we're going to go ahead and place down a block to the left side here. We're going to place down a lever on that block. We're going to go ahead and then take our debug stick, and we want to select it so that it's selected face wall. We're going to go ahead and then uh, have it kind of rotate down. So we're using our right click, and we have our lever that gets placed here on top of this pane which will go ahead and rotate facing toward the back. If you do not have access to a debug stick and cannot do that, then you guys can very simply just place down a wither skeleton skull in that place instead. Either one will work. We then want to go ahead and go to the right side here. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post and then another narrow brick fence post that goes up from it. From this point here, we're going to then place down a row of uh, what is going to be a row of two of black stone slabs across. And on both sides, we're going to place down an end rod going back like so. We then want to take our black stone stairs. We're going to place down a black stone stair to both sides here. And again, a end rod going back on both sides. After that, uh, we're going to go and then place down a narrow row of two black stone slabs across the center here. Over here to the right side, we're going to place down two narrow brick fence posts up again. And then over here to the left side, we're just going to place down another end rod. After that, uh, we're going to place down two black stone stairs here to both sides again. A end rod going off this narrow brick fence post and an end rod coming off this uh, end rod just like that. We're going to then place down a row of two black stone slabs across the back section here, followed by a wither skeleton skull on top of this black stained glass pane to both sides here. And we're also going to place down two wither skeleton skulls on top of these two glass panes on the rear like that. After we have that all done, we're just going to go ahead and very simply take our iron bars and going up from these narrow brick fence posts, we're going to go ahead and go up four iron bars on both sides here like so. And once you have that all complete right there, that is going to complete my design here for the uh, Chevy Suburban um, codenamed Watchtower Electronic Countermeasures Vehicle for our presidential motorcade. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be linked from a sign of the build to my channel where this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for our projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.